after over 38 years of teaching high school instrumental music. This is my last year and I've never been more excited about teaching. Uh, I mean, how can I, when, when, when I have a class like this, the chamber music class, they show up at 7.15 in the morning and they play Mozart this well, only three weeks into the semester. <laughs> After the chamber music class, I have one period where I get to prepare for the next uh, class, which is the symphonic band period two. There's 45 students in the class, uh, and because there has to be six feet social distancing for the students who play wind instruments, we have to have them divided up into two sections, one in the band room and the other in the chorus room, uh, where they're watching me teach from upstairs on Zoom, and I have a, a substitute teacher there down there with them, and uh, an assistant student conductor who uh, follows what I'm doing. I mean, this is just working on exercises, but that is, that's the, the, the most important part of teaching instrumental music is that the students know how to practice. <laughs> After the symphonic band class, I have another period where I get to prepare for the rest of the day. And then I have the ninth grade band. And uh, that's really a great class to teach because there I get to talk about embouchure and tonguing and breathing and uh, everything I do on my own clarinet. And the percussionists are so patient that they listen to all this and they just help us along while we learn the exercises. I, I really get excited about teaching ninth graders these exercises even now at this stage of my life. <laughs>
period five symphony orchestra class is really high school instrumentalist at its highest level. Uh, here we go through every year the nine symphonies of Beethoven for the first nine weeks of school so that the seniors really get to know these symphonies and they help the ninth, 10th, and 11th graders do better uh, with learning how to play those symphonies. And uh, and the students are so patient with me when I ask them to uh, sing the parts before we play them when it's a difficult rhythmic uh, passage. Anyway, this is this is a great class, the Symphony Orchestra Period 5 class. One, two, three. <laughs> Play it. One, two, three, and. Yeah, yeah, rest, rest. Okay. And then the ninth grade orchestra class, period eight. Uh, this is a really good class this year. They actually do play the Beethoven symphonies. I have all the violinists play, learn the second part so that hopefully next year uh, they will play the first part the way they're all the friends in the uh, symphony orchestra class mostly play the first part. Uh, here they're just doing exercises, but when they get the exercises down, reading Beethoven symphonies is certainly not as difficult as it would have been. But I love all the classes that I'm teaching. I, how, can I, how can I retire and leave this? But I'm gonna have to. <laughs>
to retire I don't know but there's a changing of the guard that has to take place but I'm gonna make the most out of every minute in room 218 this year